That's absurd. Peter Bone shuts down Labour MP and demands Britain leave with no deal. Speaking on Sky News, the Tory Brexiteer snapped back at the Labour MP as he claimed the government and the Conservative Party were putting their internal disagreements before the fundamental issues of the Brexit process. Mr Dowdy said, what the craziness of this situation actually is, it's that we're not dealing with the fundamental issues that need to be resolved. This talk of avoiding a hard border in Northern Ireland which we all want to see it's not going to be solved by the technological solution. David Davis has admitted it himself, this is about internal squabbles and fights within the government, within the Conservative Party and they're putting those first instead of the national interest. We need to put the national interest first, that means jobs, the economy and our relationship on the island of Ireland and that means single market customs union, and putting this back to the people and the people's vote. But Mr Bone hit back arguing implementing a hard border between Ireland and Northern Ireland would be absurd and called on the government to put a stop to all negotiations with the EU. The Tory MP said, it's a stupid suggestion. The point is if we were an independent nation outside of the EU we don't have to create a hard border in Northern Ireland. There is a soft border there now and we can leave it like that. The idea that we would put a hard border up because we don't have a deal is absurd. That's why I think the time has come now to call off negotiations and say it's impossible to the European Union. As the Labour MP interrupted him claiming the result of putting negotiations to a halt would be a crash out for Britain, Mr Bone replied, No, no that is absurd. You can't get away with that. That is why I am saying now, we should announce that now. And then what would happen is we would be prepared at the end of March next year to do what people voted for which is to leave the European Union. And if we don't do that, I think democracy and faith in the politicians would be completely broken. On Thursday, after a series of tussles between Prime Minister Theresa May and her Brexit Secretary David Davis, Downing Street published the Brexit backstop with an aspirational time limit in order to keep Brexiteers happy. The document reads, the UK is clear that the temporary customs arrangement, should it be needed, should be time limited, and that it will be only in place until the future customs arrangement can be introduced. The UK is clear that the future customs arrangement needs to deliver on the commitments made in relation to Northern Ireland. The UK expects the future arrangement to be in place by the end of December 2021 at the latest. There is a range of options for how a time limit could be delivered which the UK will propose and discuss with the EU. But EU Chief Negotiator Michel Barnier said the UK's proposal of a time-limited backstop will be scrutinised by three simple questions when the document is analysed by negotiators in Brussels. Writing on Twitter, he said, I welcome publication of the UK's proposal on customs aspects of Ireland and Northern Ireland backstop. We will examine it with three questions. Is it a workable solution to avoid a hard border? Does it respect the integrity of the single market and customs union? Is it an all-weather backstop? Irish Prime Minister Leo Varadkar, this morning, said a time-limited backstop would be unacceptable and has previously promised to vote down the UK's Brexit withdrawal deal unless it features a satisfactory backstop.